things are getting so heated during some of the pro-Palestinian demonstrations that the White House has now issued a statement. It reads in part that we have seen harassment and calls for violence against Jews. This blatant anti-Semitism is reprehensible. It's dangerous and has absolutely no place on college campuses or anywhere in the country. Add to that, a rabbi with links to the school is encouraging Jewish students to stay home as the demonstrations continue on campus. School officials say all classes will be virtual today. Initially, the school had planned on making remote learning optional. It now appears mandatory. The university president saying the decision was made to de-escalate the situation. Joining us now is Noem. He's a freshman at Columbia to talk more about what is happening right now on campus. Thanks for your time. Um, what have you seen over the last a few hours on your campus. So right now I'm not currently on campus. I left for the Passover holiday, but um, I was there for this entire week. And this past week has been absolutely horrific. Um, not only has there been insightful and violent rhetoric, but there's also been several instances of physical assault. Jewish students do not feel safe. They've been harassed. They've been subjected to death threats. Um, and, you know, it's not even just limited to Jewish students and Arab-Israeli journalists who came to talk about coexistence and Arab-Israeli relations in Israel was punched outside of the gates of Colombia by a Palestinian protester. And subsequently, the event was canceled, which was very upsetting. You know, this doesn't help anyone. Um, you know, instead of having discourse and dialogue, there's just a lot of polarization right now. It's very, very tense. I don't personally feel safe on campus. Um, you know, I'm subjected to harassment as well. It's been probably the most toxic learning environment I've ever been in. and. You know, I'm here to kind of change the narrative on, you know, on many media outlets, people are saying that these are peaceful protesters, um, but these are violent mobsters who have a lot of rage in them. They want to intimidate Jewish students. They've been doing it for the past week. And as a result, Jewish students are now packing up and leaving campus. Are you concerned after Passover going back to school? What are you factoring into your decision on how you continue your studies? I'm absolutely concerned. Um, at this rate, I think I'm probably going to end up staying on Zoom, as are many of my Jewish peers. Um, yeah, it's it's very disheartening. It costs a lot of money, and it's it's quite an experience to attend school at a university such as Yale. Are you also factoring in the possibility of of leaving over something like this? Yeah, I'm definitely factoring in the possibility of leaving. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do yet, but um, uh, yeah, that's hmm. definitely a possibility. Well, that's troublesome and disheartening to hear. What do you want from your university administration in addressing this? Could they be doing more? Should they be doing more? And what does that look like? They could be doing a lot more. I mean, first and foremost, I think that, you know, they have to take a strong stand against speech that incites violence and is hateful. I understand there's a slippery slope, you know, with free speech. And I'm not here to say that we should be limiting protesters in their right to protest. But I do think a line has to be drawn when people are carrying the Hamas flags when people are chanting to globalize the Intifada, when there are signs that say that Jewish students will be Al Qassam's next target, Al Qassam is the military wing of Hamas, asking for you know Jewish students to be Al Qassam's next target is basically calling for death of Jews, which is disgusting. Um, two two of my friends were actually harassed outside of the gates by a group of people chanting for October seventh to happen over and over and over again. I don't really understand how this kind of speech is protected, um, and you know I'm not here to argue the technicalities about free speech, but. This is harmful rhetoric that is leading to violent action. And I really do think that line has to be drawn. I mean, New Shafiq in her congressional hearing even said that hateful speech that results in, that results in or incites violence is not protected. Um, but, you know, I think over these past few days, it's been pretty clear that that speech is protected. Um, and it's not, it's not just students who are doing these terrible things. It's also, you know, random adults from around the community. I don't even know who's on my campus. Um, you know, the, all these thousands of people, it's almost like, you know, you know, where, where are they coming from? And, and you know, there needs, there needs to be some questions asked about how these people have access to this campus. Right. And where are they getting their, their marching orders? Um, is it solely the university's responsibility, or would you like to see uh, the authority come from Washington to crack down on not just what we're seeing at Columbia, but at Yale and at Harvard and, and other schools? It's hard for me to say. I, I feel like I can't really comment on that. I don't know, you know, what, what makes it necessary for the, the National Guard to come in, but... These people have to be arrested. I mean, if you're punching Jewish students, if you're barricading them from class, uh, that that's just exclusionary and dangerous. The other day, one of my friends went on the lawn and, you know, just to check out the encampment. And what resulted was a cult-like chant of a bunch of the SJP students making, you know, chanting, 
Zionists get off our encampment. They create a human chain link and try to step forward to intimidate this person and push them off the encampment. I mean, how, how is that allowed? You know, how is it? How is that allowed? It's, it's, it's almost reminiscent of you know in the 1930s when Nazi Germany would you know they'd exclude Jews from college campuses and they'd blockade them from getting into into classes. That's what we're seeing right now. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.